and I'll go back to our to the project and I'm going to create a business object model. The business object model is a representation of the core business concepts and their connections. Uh, the business object model is going to be the basis for the vocabulary that's used in the business rules. And we'll see in a minute the elements of the business model, the business object model, like the borrower, um, are going to map the elements of the execution object model, like the borrower element that's in the XML schema. So I'm going to create a new POM entry. Um, I'll stick with the default, which is just called model. I can name it anything that I want. I'll create the BOM entry from a ZOM, and this the, the XOM. So that's our execution object model. I'll pick the execution object model that I want, which is that, that XML file, the XSD file. And then it shows me what all the all the different classes that are contained in that schema. And I'm I'll just select them all. Now this is the verbalization step, and this is this is where we choose parts that we want to verbalize. Um, the verbalization is going to create the English terms and phrases that will show up and be used in the business rules, and we can choose to include um, or leave out the getters and setters um, in a very granular, granular way if we want. But here, I'm, I'm just going to take everything in the, in the model, the borrower, property, request, and result. I'll have it verbalize the getters and setters. Uh, and then when I click Finish, it goes through and it, it's going to create everything for me. Now let's, let's go look at the business object model that we just created. As I browse through this tree, I can see that there are classes that represent the elements that are in the XML model. And if I drill into one of the classes, say the borrower, we can see more details about the class. Um, over in the general information section up in the upper left, we see the class name, the namespace, and these are these are some of the technical details that were imported by the wizard. We also see beneath that that there's some members, which represent attributes and methods of classes. Here we see age, um, is employer, job seniority, and months and more. And if I move to the to the upper right over in class verbalization, so we see the the verbalization of this class. Um, and this is how it's how this is going to show up in the business rules. And if I if I click on job seniority in months and I'm gonna I'm gonna drill into that and let's look at the verbalization for that term. We can see over in the verbalization in the top right that since it's an attribute um, that the import wizard created both getter and setter verbalizations for us. So navigation is the, is the getter, and action is the setter. Um, and then we can also see, we can see that there's a subject that's going to be used. So this is the, the term, job seniority in month. We, we have singular and plural versions. And then we can also, um, uh, there's some placeholders. And the, the placeholders, that are represented in brackets here um, make it so that when we start creating business rules that the sentences are going to flow more naturally. If you want to learn more, you can go online at www.ilog.com.